Why, hello there, fellow star citizen. Welcome to Loreville. You might be wondering why I'm in your room. I'm here because I've been assigned to give you a tour of Loreville. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is get dressed. So go ahead and hit I to open up your inventory. Now that you've hit I, you should see your local inventory. When you start out, you will have an undersuit and a helmet. You're gonna drag your undersuit onto your body and you're gonna go to armor, locate a helmet, and again, drag it onto your body. And you'll hit I again to close your inventory while you're here. Get to know your hab. In your hab, you'll have a rack to sleep in, a desk to sit at, a microwave to cook with, a coffee maker that you can use, and a lavatory. Okay, now that you're all suited up, the next thing that we want to do is we're going to leave and we're going to go explore Louisville. Follow me. In order to interact with the door, hit F and click the left mouse button. Next, we're going to wander out into Louisville. You're currently in a hab. This is where all players will spawn. If you look out the window, you will see the landing zone at Tisa Spaceport. We'll get there eventually. If you need to run, scroll your mouse wheel up. If you want to walk, scroll your mouse wheel down. We're going to need to take the elevator down to the lobby so that we can be on our way. You're going to interact with the elevator the same way you did with your hab door, as well as the elevator controls. When you are exiting the hab in Louisville, you're going to exit the elevator and take a left. As you come out to Louisville, you will be greeted with a highly industrious city. You'll notice that Lorville and Hurston don't much care about their people. As you can see, literal waste being dumped out of the city onto the ground outside. Moving along. We're going to make our way to the local shops first in case you want to pick up any gear So heading to the right, we're going to go to the area that has shops. In the shops, you can pick up armor, clothing, weaponry, other gear materials that you might need for your journey. Currently, there's not a lot of activity here at Hurston, here in Lorville. The hospital is currently not open, not functioning. We're going to head on down to the shops so that we can take a look at some gear. First up is McIntyre's Bar. m and is where you can go for a little bit of R&R &R while you're here on Lorville. See the bartender and order a drink. If the bartender won't serve you, wander over to the other side of the bar. Take somebody else's drink. And drink up. Now, just be careful because if you drink too much, you'll start seeing people that look like this. Watch out for the uh, the table standers. On your way out of the McIntyre and Victor's Bar, you're going to head across the way to Tammany and Sons. You can also swing by for a cup of noodles and some water at the local shop. When you get into Tammany and Sons, you have a few options. You can buy armor. You can buy clothing and you can buy tools or weapons, all of which can be purchased at the kiosk. I 
I recommend picking up a couple of med pens. These will save you if you get injured. You can pick up clothing if you're wanting to go with a relaxed look when you're at different stations. Just make sure to take it along in your ship. You can pick up different weapons. Anything from pistols to sniper rifles to grenades, flares, and multi-tools. I always recommend taking a multi-tool. You can pick up another undersuit if you need one or if you want to change the color. All you do is pick the suit, choose buy, how many you want, and confirm. And it will be in your inventory when you hit I. When you're looking at armor, you have a option of helmets, arms, legs, torsos, and backpacks. Armor will come in light, medium, and heavy. Backpacks are the same way. They come with light, medium, and heavy, and they will tell you on the right-hand side exactly what kind of armor you can wear them with. You cannot wear a backpack with just an undersuit. Once you've purchased your gear, again, you'll hit I. Locate your gear that you want to put on. If you want to put your backpack on, rotate your body with the right mouse key and you can drag the backpack onto your body. And you'll notice that you now have a new inventory slot where you can put inventory into your backpack. Once we leave Tammany and Sons, swing by, grab yourself a cup of water. Head back up the stairs and check out the signs just to, to help you navigate. We want to go to Levston Square. That's going to take us back to the area that we left by the Habs so that then we can go get on the train and head to the Metro Center. There are times that you may need to head to the admin office in order to pick up jobs. There's usually a kiosk in there that you can pick up those jobs at or to sell items. We're now back in Livston Square and we're going to head towards the Metro Center. Once we're in the Metro Center, now we got to hop on a train. We're going to head towards Tisa Spaceport that we saw earlier from the window of the head. Welcome to Metro Center. Transfers to the perimeter, spaceport, and industry line. The platform edge when train is approaching. This is the train that's going to be leaving in about, oh, another train's arriving in 15 seconds. If you get lost here at Lorville, you can check out this sign to figure out where you are. Everything comes back here. We're here at Metro Center. We are waiting for the spaceport train to leave. The train just arrived. We're going to go hop on. And take a trip to the spaceport. Right to search travelers at any time. Notice earlier when I said to pay attention to these signs, we were going to be heading to the Tisa spaceport. And that's exactly where we're going. follow the sign so that we can make it to the spaceport. Once you disembark, again, you do have the option to hop on another train to go to different locations. We 
are going to go and locate the gates. So we don't want to go to the business district. We are going to take a left after we get off. And we're going to go through the customs area. Once we get through customs, we're going to get to the console that will have our ship. All right. This is the spaceport kiosk area. In the, space, in the kiosk area, you will have different kiosks that you can use. Each kiosk will give you access to your fleet of ships or your single ships, where you can call them to a hangar or a landing pad so that you can take off. You're going to go to the kiosk, interact with F, locate your ship that you're going to want to call, and you're going to use the retrieve option. Upon retrieval, it will tell you what hangar you're in. You can follow the signs. We're going to elevators to hangars, commercial flights, obviously toilets. Uh, if you notice on the right hand side, these white kiosks, they are for paying off criminal fines. Again, Hurston Guards. To your left, you will find New Deal. New Deal is where you purchase ships. If you don't own any ships or you want to purchase more ships in the game, you'll swing by New Deal and each planet uh, will have its own different type of ship that you can purchase. Moving along, on your way to the elevators, you'll see Vantage Rentals. Vantage Rentals is where you can rent different ships. So again, you can rent them for 24 hours to try those ships out before you purchase them. Let's head down to the hangar. Depending on the ship that you have, if you're in a large hangar with a large ship, that typically means that you're going to land inside a hangar with your large ship. However, if you have a small ship, like the Cutlass Black, you are almost certain to land outside in the vacuum of space. Make sure that you put your helmet on. Go to your inventory, locate a helmet, and place it on your head. Once your helmet turns on, you'll get a HUD that comes up. It should show your oxygen or any damage. You're going to interface with your ship. When you get into your pilot seat, you're going to interact just like before. Hit F and enter the pilot seat. You're going to press R to make your ship flight ready. Unless you have remapped your keys. You're going to push F11 to bring up your global chat, choose friends, choose Lorville landing services. This will allow you to request takeoff. You only need to request takeoff if you are in a hangar. If you are outside on a pad, you do not need to request takeoff. Once the hangar doors are open, you can take off. You're going to do this using spacebar. This will vertically ascend you out of the hangar that you're in. Once you've successfully cleared your hangar, push N to bring up your landing gear. And you're going to use your standard movement, WASD, to control your ship front, back, left, or right, unless you have a joystick and throttle control. If you don't want to hold W to make yourself go forward, hit C for cruise control. Just remember, as you approach the station, 
you're going to want to hit C again to turn off cruise control. All right, as we ascend, as we're flying into outer space, you're going to want to turn on your star map. You're going to do that by pressing F2, and then we're going to locate the planet of Hurston. You're going to double click on Hurston, scroll in with your mouse wheel, and locate the space station that is in orbit. Scroll in until you find the space station. Each planet will have its own station. Hurston has Everest Harbor. Once Everest Harbor is located, set your route. This is going to put an indicator on your screen with an arrow, or it's going to mark the station in a rounded square. You're going to hit B to turn on your quantum drive unless you have it remapped and you're going to see your quantum drive spool up and calibrate so that it knows exactly how much fuel to use to get there. From there you're going to hold B once it is ready and you're going to jump to the station. This is going to bring you within 20 kilometers of Everest Harbor. As you approach Everest Harbor, ATC will notify you that you are in an area where you should not be fighting as an armistice zone. They do not prevent you from shooting. But if you attack somebody, you will go to jail. And as you get close, the same as before, we are going to choose F-11, Friends, and now you're going to choose Everest Harbor so that you can get a landing pad. There is no single button for ATC. You're going to hit F-11. You're going to choose your Friends, Everest Harbor, and in a moment you should see an indicator pop up where they tell you where to land. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. You will notice the, the blue arrow on my left hand window. With an indicator of exactly where I need to land. As you're approaching for your landing, make sure that your landing gear is down by tapping N. And this is universal with every ship. You can approach at any speed you want. SCM is recommended though. And you have the option of holding control to go down or if you are low enough within the green box that you may see, you can hold the N key, hold it down, and your autopilot will kick in and land the ship for you. Once you have landed, go to your Moby Glass by pressing F1. Landing complete. Choose the maintenance option, and you're going to want to repair your vehicle, refuel, and restock if needed. You'll notice when I refuel, my fueling indicators will go up. And you'll notice that if I have to repair, my ship will blink and I will be repaired. The next thing you're going to want to do is shut your engines off. Hit I. And while you're in your ship, I is for your engines. And you can hit Y to get out of your seat. As you leave your ship, there's usually a few different options depending on the type of ship you're on. You can either go out the aft or some ships offer a side exit.
you'll notice now we are in the void of space. It's always recommended to close your ship back up to prevent ship piracy. We're going to head inside and check into the medical clinic. You want to set your imprint to this station so that in the event of your death, your clone can respawn here at the station and not back down at Lorville and you won't have to make that entire trip all over again. So just as before, when we took off from Lorville, you're going to go to the fleet manager computers and you are going to store your ship. And once you've stored your ship, head down the corridor and head to the left and continue straight down the hallway to the medical clinic and check in. Put our imprint here so that we know catastrophic event that we lose our life, that we will respawn, reanimate in this location. Since we are here on a station, we can take our helmet off. And that's how you navigate yourself from Lorville up to Everest Harbor 